It has always been us, not waiting for Superman, doing the saintly work of freedom. It is the duty of the poet to pretty up the plain, make mosaic of the mundane, but there are no words fit to mask this task. Inherited from our forebearers be too much to bear, can't cry enough tears to flood the thousands and thousands of candles on altars, silent vigils and generational prayers that she, he, they are coming home. How could we let this happen? Steps of the Capitol asking how and who to blame the names of siblings, loves, parents, and children ringing in our ears on these stairs. We scrape hope from what's left of this promise of freedom on stolen land. Ferocious and interlocked, teeth bared and tongues lashing for loves who have paid for mistakes in more than time, lifetimes given. State unforgiving to the thousands of loves who managed to rehabilitate themselves in a broken system, ready to return and blocked from doing so. The story is stale and older than parole, a system that perhaps used to know justice. <laughs> ACLU quote, parole used to be an integral part of the justice system rewarding people who turn their life around and encouraging prisons to provide rehabilitative services to ensure a safe and timely release. But parole and other release mechanisms like medical, geriatric, or work release are now underutilized, broken, or non-existent. This is what we are resisting. The two-faced double talk of those who are pro-prison system yet strip them of everything that will heal, sealing us into this rhythm, sick cyclical repetition of injustice of those deserving of and ready to be forgiven. Well, since we are on the subject of rhythm, let us reclaim it, all chorus, cherishing the synchronicity of our heartbeats. Well, let us drum then enemy named death by incarceration. Let them know we are coming. Hands and hearts full vengeance and healing. Let them hear us all ruckus in resistance, riot and realness, perhaps enough to awaken from the stillness those who rather sleep than face reality. It has always been us who have done the saintly work of freedom and that will not change today. Face the reality that walls are just walls. And like Asada say, we can walk through them Wade in water while we dig our own tunnels and railways to freedom. Hearts here beating in unison and evidence that we and they are never alone. We are taking them home. Our families are suffering in New York State and all across Turtle Island, really. We got to free our elders today, survivors and all our people deserving of second chances. All our people are deserving grandparents and children, community rebuilding, resilience on a zillion unmoving, cause while it is true, we are the children of broken window theories and promises. We are also those who understand the urgency and move with the audacity of hope, of courage and revision to the mountains of morals missing in the system. Fierce, we are those left with no choices. Space for indecision, nothing left to give but our all and just look at the power of our all. Millions of people tall, we sprout, impossible to be weeded, future laden, ground seeded, remembering like Moya Mincing, hope is a seed that lives on, escapes bars and prison yards and lives up to its promises, these seeds we will cherish and relish in the delight of our dream, both knowing and believing in the power of action, back to dreaming, we are speaking, we are screaming, we are whispering freedom, freedom, free them, freedom, loving the sound that rings off our ears, let them hear us, run and tell it, fear us, abolition is torch lit, we going to free our people from slavery 3.0, we are bringing our loved ones home, we are bringing our loved ones home.